For a couple of weeks it has been pretty bad weather actually, even if it's Mallorca. But I think now that the spring might be back, or I hope it's here, because I thought it was here, but then it got worse and now it's better again. But still, yeah, I've done my training as planned, and uh, in the last few days I've done uh, four days in a row with hill reps on the bike. I'm not at the point where I want to be on the bike, I want to be better of course, but I want to be just as good as I was before. And uh, why I'm not that, it's because I've been doing a lot of swimming and a lot of running instead and I have had a lot of focus on swimming and running. But now I think it's time to like add or maybe just prioritize different so I do more cycling now. Yesterday I went to Formentor and um, the conditions weren't super good but I did my best anyway and I think I did well. That wasn't my nicest session ever but I got it done so I'm here in uh, Port Puyensa, very in the start of the climb of Formentor and I did it twice so not a lot but yeah I got tired anyway and it was the third day in a row that I did hill reps on the bike so yeah I was kind of tired and it's 8 degrees and raining so it's not it's not the best day ever but I got it done and yeah I think I have to wash that one again it's not often I had to do that but now I've done it twice in one week so I didn't produce the best numbers ever not at all but I had a very low heart rate as well so I think I'm in good shape but I just I'm just too tired to get it out now but I have it in here Today I will go to Randa to do some more hill reps. The reason for that is Randa is pretty close to our house and uh, I think it's a good climb to do it. It's not my favorite but it's the closest one so that's why I'm going there. And it has like the perfect length so the interval takes me like between 11 and 12 minutes to do. So that's pretty good and the downhill isn't super tricky so I can do that pretty fast too. So what I'm doing in Randa is that I simply do the climb twice after my warm up. Um, the rest in between is uh, the amount of time it takes to go down to the village again at the foot of the climb. The intensity is as hard as I can possibly do for two intervals. So I'm not doing one super hard and the other one easy. I, I have to do, do them like uh, at the same effort. During the uh, rest, I'm just trying to keep in some power or try to pedal as much as possible so I won't get too cold. The weather changed really quickly when I uh, cloud came in and just covered the whole mountain with fog. I got a little bit cold from the fog and the temperature that dropped from 20 degrees down to 10 degrees, but I didn't have any problem with completing my intervals as intended. After four of these sessions I've improved a lot and I knew that I would. I think I will have my normal cycling capacity back within like two weeks or so. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoy the video and that I'll see you very soon. 
If you want to follow me between the videos, you can follow me on Instagram, where my name is Linden Andreas. I'll see you soon.